explain to you guys. So, so life's great. Everything that I do, I schedule my plane flights. So I know you guys see this guy's crazy. And I cram all these plane flights in to like this condensed amount of time. Because there's my way my brain thinks. My way my brain thinks is like, okay, I got a bunch of work to do here. And so I want to stay here as long as I can. But then I want to get back so I can be back for my family as quick as I can. And so one thing that I do is I'll just cram plane flights to one city, take care of business, fly out from there to another city, and then I'll take care of business. Then I'll do all the networking that I need to do, like a, like a rampage. I could, it, it, and I mean, if you've ever traveled, one thing, if you guys ever get a chance to be a part of anything that I'm doing, you guys get to travel with me, you'll want to because you'll sit back and say, holy shit, I didn't know that so much stuff could be power packed into one day, two days, as we just went over the last one, two, three days. And, um, and all that will get done. And so this past, uh, this past week, I went to Phoenix, had a zoning meeting, flew out to uh, um, Palm Springs because I had to get out there and take a look at the subdivision. One of the coolest things that we did when we got out there was um, I kept asking uh, Dave, I said, look, so what's the industry? What's driving people? And he kept saying the marijuana industry. And I, I said, okay, so I'm thinking about it like Colorado, like New Mexico and stuff. And so I sit back and I go, okay, roll into uh, Palm Springs, we go out to Palm Desert, and um, I'm sitting back and I'm looking at all of what we have going on. I look at the lots, I'm not super impressed by the lots. I can tell, David can tell that I'm not super impressed by the lots, but I sit back and say, you know what, there's housing, there's development going in, and, um, and we'll, we'll sell these suckers, we'll, just, we'll move it and deploy this money elsewhere. And then we start driving around, and all I see is all these windmills and windmills and solar farms and solar farms and windmills and solar farms. And then I, we get in, and then we get into the heart of the cannabis capital of the world and uh, we see all these warehouses with cannabis growers and we see a community of people that are going out there and there's not housing you know it's all old housing from back in the day and we see these ranches and all this stuff that's going on and I sit back and go unbelievable the opportunity we have in front of us so less than half a mile away we have our lots and we have the opportunity to be able to capitalize on all of what's happening in there. We go into City Hall um, in, this, in, in the areas that we're building in where these guys were doing business out of um, modular trailers who now have new facilities that are all brand new and being developed that are just gorgeous brand new facilities, city halls, courthouses, everything in all these municipalities. And there's communities that are being built around the marijuana growth, um, solar, um, wind, and just everything that's happening in the world that you guys hear about on the news and so we sit back and we go, and, and I'm sitting back going, oh my goodness, we have so much opportunity right here. And this isn't just the only sector, this is happening nationwide. And so then we go into uh, to Orange County and um, we're sitting there by, um, by Costa Mesa and everybody that's there is wealthy. Everybody that's there is, is accredited investors, all millionaires, multimillionaires. And then there's this humble man that walks in and this gentleman, um, which I'll, I'm going to do a, a quick, uh, I'm going to do a, a quick video to be able to get you guys to watch. I want to get approval first, but I'm going to put something together so you guys can hear uh, what this gentleman has to say, and um, and it's a treat. It's a real treat because he talks about creating wealth, but then he talks about philanthropy and everything that he's done because he creates so much wealth, hundreds of millions of dollars in net worth, and he's like, okay, then what? Do you just leave that to your kids? And he talks about how like by the third generation, typically that money is exasperated and it's gone because they've abused it. They don't, there's no, there's no uh, financial literacy, uh, you know? So he goes, I'm not leaving this money to my, my kids. And then he apologized to his son-in-law and said, sorry, I'm just not. And he talked about philanthropy and how uh, what he's doing needs to make a difference in the world, not just here in America, because uh, he talks about how the, the poor people that are struggling with opioids and, and drug epidemics and um, you go down to the local um, corner under the interstates where there's homelessness and it's driven and overridden by, by homelessness. And one of the big things is he talks about how those people are wealthy compared to the poverty that they see in other parts of the world where there's medical needs, hunger needs, water needs, educational needs. And, um, and it's, it's worldwide, we're becoming a worldwide um, we're becoming a worldwide um, commerce right now. And so one of the big things is we fit all this in there, right? And at the end, he comes up to me and we talk about our business model, everything that we've been talking about by buying land, building houses. And we create a business model of affordable housing that we're competing with Class C real estate. So we don't go in and we're not building and developing these beautiful, gorgeous Class A real estate with all the pools, the lifestyle, the, 
um, the gyms and all this stuff in there that where they're charging people two thousand, three thousand dollars a month for rent. We create a business model where we can go in very simple. We cut out the pools, we cut out the gyms, but we give people a brand new product, brand new living. And so when we get to a, a time, if the if the market, the economy ever starts to tumble. Where do people go to live that are living in these $2,000, $3,000 a month um, apartments? Where do they go to live? We need affordable housing. And one of the biggest issues in America today is the lack of affordable housing. There's either garbage or there's great real estate. But when you condense it all, there's a, a mass need for affordable housing. So how do you fill that gap? Ladies and gentlemen, if it's not people like us that are developing and going out there to do it, it'll never get done. So we sit back and I talk about the need for affordable housing. And so he comes up to us at the end and we go on, this, uh, we go on their yacht and um, we're, we're getting ready to take off. And he goes, look, Jerome, can you come back out in September? I'd love to talk to you a little bit more about what you're doing. I want to be a part of it. And so ladies and gentlemen, when you have people that are worth $500 million, $800 million coming to you saying, Jerome, I want to be a part of what you're doing, you have something. And so ladies and gentlemen, everything that we've been doing, I talk about buy land, please build houses. We need it. There's a need for it. And in return, you're going to get wealthy doing it. It's the way I became a millionaire, ladies and gentlemen. And not only that, we're able to take that. And we'll teach you guys how to deploy that into larger assets, passive income, income that you don't have to no longer work for anymore. It's income that you have your money working on your behalf. And you know, the best part about it is it's hard to make money. But the, what's even harder than making money is learning how to keep it. And so one of the biggest things is you make this money, where does it go? Most of it goes to taxes. So learning how to deploy that money in there and in, into a larger assets and reducing your tax liability is so immensely important. No one understands it, very few. I even have to talk to our accountants and stuff and teach them how to deploy money and how the tax systems work and do research so that that way we can deploy our money either tax-free or reduce it. And, I, and I'll say it like that because what we do is 100% legitimate in what we're doing because the tax laws are set up in that regards. But learning them is difficult. And so understanding that, and look, I'm, disclaimer, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a CPA, and I'm not a, a, a tax attorney. But through the means of hiring good people in my life and putting myself in good, uh, in, in position with good people have taught, has taught me a lot. And so the goal is to be able to teach you guys that same stuff and to be able to get people on board, passive income, and being able to deploy that into affordable housing. Ladies and gentlemen, this past weekend in uh, Costa Mesa, absolutely incredible. You're gonna wanna watch this and enjoy it.